Well, here it is. What they are, where they come from, and what to look for when buying rubies. Welcome to another episode of Fast Facts. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest uploads. Okay, let's get into today's video. Well, rubies have been one of the most sought after and valued gems in history. Called Ratnaraj in ancient Sanskrit, meaning the king of precious stones and mentioned in Pliny in his natural history for their great hardness. They are a symbol of courage and thought to ward off misfortune and even ill health. Rubies have adorned royalty around the world for centuries. Modern lore most associates rubies with expressions of love and passion, which maybe explains why rubies still command the highest per carat price of any colored stone to this day. It is also why ruby engagement rings are a very popular alternative engagement ring to diamonds. It is common for rubies to be heated to improve color and remove impurities. Unheated rubies are the most scarce and fetch high premiums, especially from Burma, aka Myanmar. Ruby is the birthstone for July and the zodiac gemstone for Aries. They are also the recommended gem for couples celebrating their 40th wedding anniversary. With its red hues caused by the traces of chromium, it is the second hardest naturally occurring gem after diamonds. Rubies are generally treated and cut before they are mounted and sold, with heat treatments being the most common method used. However, you must be comfortable and trusting of your supplier, as synthetic enhancements are widespread. As a rule of thumb, if the price of a stone is too good to be true, get a second opinion. Rubies are primarily graded on color, cut, carat, and origin. Natural rubies have imperfections known as rutile crystals, which separate them from synthetic rubies. Although rubies have shading variations and underlying tones, the pigeon's blood ruby red color of Burma or Myanmar is considered the most valuable. Mozambique rubies have also been found to have this quality in some cases, but whilst still available are not as valuable as the Burma equivalent. Rubies have traditionally been mined in Southeast Asia, especially Thailand, Burma, and Cambodia, and more recently in Central and Eastern Africa, in Tanzania and Mozambique. Red and bright red, also with secondary hues of pink, orange, and violent brown. Pure red rubies, pigeon's blood, and red rubies with a purplish secondary hue are most desirable. Flawless rubies are extremely rare. Small amounts of typical rutile inclusions can improve the color of the stone by breaking up and scattering the light throughout the stone. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed it and you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.